As though we just recently came out with the Havoc, I kind of want to talk about some details of why this can overlay, especially over with a swinging in the back. So as we know, again, obviously if we're holding onto the handle, most of the weight is away from our body as we're swinging this object. And this is the thing that actually makes contact with the ball and makes that thing fly over the fence, right? So with this, right, one of the ways we're actually looked at this is when we were training with water bags, uh, one of the things with it is we actually have the weight like in our hands and yes, it's still a really useful tool, but also too, we wanted to have it a, a, again, a little bit more um, a, away from us on a lever, something that again, we knew that would make our body uh, respond in very different ways. And so when we came out with this, uh, the, the Havoc, right, which is like a water mace here, right, is obviously where we're holding compared to where that force is and that the end of the lever makes our body respond in very, uh, very different reflexive ways, right? So think about our body like big rubber bands that run all across our body. And then also too, as we go to swing things, we have to respond to forces that are away from us. It actually puts a much larger demand on our body compared to like a water bag. Or again, even too, we wanna train something that's even harder than uh, swinging a baseball bat. So this is where a tool like this can be really good with a lot of our rotations or again, our crashes, our chops, um, all kinds of different movements. We do flows over the head, learning to also, and instead of fighting the water, Use the water and then learn how to make the water crash as well. Really useful tool, something for you guys to check out.